is why I don't have my natural hair out because it get fluffy real quick. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh, the sun. Hey. Let me scoot up. Hi, best friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Ayani, or you could call me Sin. It doesn't matter. And I make and customize wigs, okay? So, today I have a wig from YG Wigs. They are sponsoring this video. So, yes, we're doing the sponsored video today. And they sent me this cute wig from what I could tell. I'm going to show y'all the packaging, though. So this is the packaging. It's black and gold, and it's actually really cute. I love the aesthetic. They sent me all of these goodies. It's an edge brush, some clips, a bonnet, um, wig cap, everything that you would possibly need to help assist you in um, installing your wig. This is a box, and this is the wig. Oops, let me get my little dog collar out the way. So, yeah, so I've seen this. I didn't open it as of yet, but I saw that it was like a highlighted curly. And I love me a good highlighted curly. What is this? Hold on. Oh, okay. This is cute <laughs> or whatever. It's a little cute necklace, heart necklace with a T on it. I don't know what the T stand for because my name starts with a C or they could have sent an A. I mean, they knew what my name is, but this is definitely cute. Okay, I'm gonna close that up. And then we're gonna open this wig. Y'all, the sun is just disrespectful right now, but I got the package. It says it's 13 by six, HD lace, Swiss lace, 24 inch water wave. Oh, okay, this this looks like, this doesn't necessarily look like water wave to me. They look like a jerry curl, but we gonna wash it and we gonna see. Um, it's 24 inch water wave, there's 150 density, mixed color. So you have black and like the honey blonde that's in here and the cap is large. So, um, I did notice that the um, the knots are bleached. The knots are bleached, and I'm excited about that. Now, I could go in and bleach them a little bit more, but I ain't that, I ain't, I ain't that pressed, you feel me? And it does come with a ta tag that says YG Wigs. And I also like this because it has the return and exchange policy on the actual wig. So it's like, you can't miss it because you have to take this off in order to um, wear it. So you have to see it. I think I'm gonna start doing this on the wigs that I actually sell. Cause this is bomb. I actually like this. I like this a lot. This is a 13 by six. And as you can see that it is bleached cause you can see the brassiness inside. But what I've been noticing is that a lot of the wigs lately don't give you all the parting space on the sides anymore. And that sucks. It's like this pandemic is really like messing things up. But regardless of the situation, we still going to make it look cute. Okay. So you get three, four combs and adjustable straps. This is kind of like a closure. So you could sew an elastic band on this in here and uh, apply it that way. Uh, the lace is slightly pre-plucked. I am going to go in and do that more. And this is the color of her. Now, she is really cute. I am going to go ahead and co-wash her. I'll do that with you guys. I mean, wash her and, and condition her with silicone mix. I'm going to do that with you guys. I'm going to comb these curls out. And I'm going to let it sit in some silicone mix for about uh, 20 minutes because this is curly hair and it is color, color treated. So I definitely want it to be at its optimal. I want it to be healthy and I want it to look good. So I am going to use some suave shampoo and silicone mix deep conditioning treatment to wash and condition this wig. Wash your wigs, y'all, because this is coming from overseas. You know, we want we want, we want some clean hair. We don't want we don't want to wash our wigs. I don't even have to sh I should not even have to tell y'all. Watch this. All right. So let's wash her.
because I was looking for something else that I could use to install my wigs instead of using the even less spray lace spray and I found this so this is the red by kiss styler fixer styler fixer lace bond spray extreme hold um, number one adhesive for lace and wigs this is technically a glueless product so it says on the box it says the strongest adhesive formula for the longest long lasting wig application sweat proof waterproof water resistant a pleasant scent um, for daily activities formulated to prevent hair damage yet de delicate enough to be removed without buildup that sounds amazing okay and it says how to remove gently remove using shampoo or an oil based product I'm pretty sure if you hop in a shower you run water on warm water it'll just dissolve off like typical lace adhesive out of an aerosol can oh this is HD lace but you see them sides <laughs> it's so tragic so I'm gonna apply this and we're gonna see what it do okay it's pretty it's very very pretty Oh, I washed it, so of course it smells good. So I'm going to use my Ru my Ruby Kisses um, foundation. I'm in the shade 16, and I'm just going to go ahead and put this where my part is. Better. And as you can see, the lace is a little bit light for my skin tone. That is normal because lace comes in different shades. If you do get lighter lace, just tint it. You can tint it with makeup. You can tint it with a lace tint. Whatever floats your boat. Just tint the lace so it can match you so you won't look ashy, okay? So I'm going to take some makeup and I'm just going to blot that on the hairline. And it's gonna go right into my skin tone. And I love this color that I use because it literally matches my skin tone when I don't have makeup. Like my makeup color is the perfect match for me. And I just love it. Okay, so hold on. Let's get let's let's dip that back there. Okay. Boom. She looks so to do this install, I'm going to start from the middle and work from side to side, all right? I'm going to spray some of the lace adhesive right here in the middle, lay the lace down, blow dry it till it's dry. I'm going to use warm um, heat for my blow dryer, and it shouldn't take that long. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, so let's do this. Don't spray too much because you don't want to lift your cap. And I'm going to lay the lace down. Where I want and my blow dry. Well, that actually dried super quick. I can feel the tightness around my hairline. Let's go to the other side. So again, I'm gonna lift it up. and lay the lace down. And then. Okay. 
Okay, now that we on, I'm gonna pin my baby hairs back so we can cut off the lace. So all you need is some type of clip to do so. <laughs> Let me find the clip, all right? I'm gonna take my razor and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess of lace. Be careful not to cut your skin because it's very, very easy to do so. Wait, before I do that, let me go in there and trim. Make sure. Boom. Now, the edges don't necessarily have to be all the way laid down right now because we're gonna do the melted method after we lay our baby hairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clips, get my edge brush, if I can find it. Then I'm gonna put some baby hairs down. All right, so now that my baby hairs are down, I'm going to take the spray and spray my hairline. I am going to do this fast because the spray that's underneath my lace is already dry. So if I put some wet spray on it, it's going to try to lift it, all right? So I'm going to spray it and then take my elastic band, wrap my hairline down, and then wait for it to dry. And once it's dry, it should be melted. Okay, so I just sprayed my hairline and it's been probably like a minute and this is it's already dry. This is not as sticky as the even spray. I like that and it smells really good. It, it doesn't smell like chemicals and I, I really appreciate that. It doesn't leave my hairline crunchy because even definitely leaves your hairline super crunchy. But it's, this is not, it has a soft feel to it. Like I, I use lace glue, but I didn't because we're doing a glueless method. So let's talk about my thoughts about the product and the hair. All right, so let's start with the product. I want to say that I like this because it doesn't leave my lace crunchy. So as of right now, it doesn't have a strong bitterness hold on to my lace. My lace actually feels like I use lace glue to adhere it, but I actually used lace spray to adhere it. So technically, this is a glueless route to, to go. All right, um, I'm pretty sure this is going to last me about two days. Uh, two-day wear because of the fact that it's only lace spray so it is going to lift quicker than it would if you use actual glue all right so again I, I don't know how it's going to wear but as of right now the the lace and the spray is very much comfortable on my head um, I do uh, enjoy the actual smell the, the smell of this is like it just don't smell like alcohol it smells floral-y, but not too, not too much flower, like you feel me? So I enjoyed it, and I was weary of getting it, and I think it might come in different colors, so if it does, I'm gonna go back to the beauty supply and buy the other one. As far as this hair, though, I actually love the color of this wig, and the thing about this is, I did not have to bleach the hair to get it to this color. The only thing, did, did I bleach the knots on here? Did I bleach the knots on here? 
it came bleached. I didn't have to do not a thing to this wig but add some baby hairs. I am enjoying it. Now, I did get some shedding when I initially washed this. If, if you were to purchase this and run your fingers through it, it is a drier texture, so you are going to have to use silicone mix to make sure that your hair is healthy and hydrated because this is a type of wig. Because it's been processed, because it's like a super curly texture, you want to make sure that it's always going to be hydrated. So anyway, if you are interested in this wig, I will definitely leave it down below in the description box for you. Everything that I use in this video, especially this can of spray, will be down in the description box for you guys if you are interested. And um, what else? What else can I say to you guys? That's about it. Until next time, bye best friends.